all right guys in this video i'm going to show you some real world examples of successful affiliate marketing i'm going to show you all the methods and all the ways that people are making money online using affiliate marketing this is a hugely important lesson for you guys so please pay attention to this one because one of the sort of mantras that we're going to have throughout this course is don't try to reinvent the wheel all right see we're not really trying to change the world with creating this affiliate marketing business, at least not the first one. Um, we're really just trying to earn income online. Um, and the best way to do that is to replicate and to basically copy uh, what the people who are already making money online are doing. Um, but if you can find a way to kind of set yourself apart or to do it better, then 100% do that. Um, because that's how I started. Um, and I'll get into that once we get, um, you know, once we get to that example. But anyways, to jump right in, uh, the first example is YouTube. Um, I'm sure many of you guys, you guys probably found me through YouTube, uh, or a lot of you guys, you know, you watch YouTube a ton. And so the sort of original people or the OGs of affiliate marketing uh, for YouTube are the tech reviewers. Uh, so these are the big tech reviewers like MKBHD. Unbox Therapy, Jonathan Morrison, if you guys have heard of any of them. Um, so these guys, they review products and you know consumer electronics on YouTube, um, but they put Amazon Associates links in the description and this is how they actually earn the majority of their income. So to me, it's crazy because um, even if you aren't a big channel, but you use affiliate marketing, you can earn as much money as some of the bigger channels um, uh, versus you know just regular AdSense. Uh, so just to give an example, so with Google AdSense, which is just you know running those ads and getting paid for views, basically, um, you make about two dollars for every one thousand views. And the thing is, with affiliate marketing you don't need to have that many views to earn the same amount of money as with AdSense. Uh, so this is what was crazy to me when I was starting out and with my channel, ODI Productions, uh, and I was reviewing headphones and audio gear. And you know, some of these headphones are $200, $300 a pop. And if you know, I was earning um, you know, 7.5% on that, then that right there is earning me so much more money than Google AdSense was bringing in because you know I wasn't getting millions upon millions of views, but if I was getting sales on the back end, then that would make up for that, and I would be earning just as much as some of the bigger channels on YouTube. Uh, but what's crazy to me is that these tech reviewers, they actually do get millions of views. They actually do have millions of, subscri of subscribers. And if you combine affiliate marketing along with just their gigantic following, then it's just, nothing but dollar signs guys um, so anyways the most common method is putting the Amazon Associates links in the description but sometimes there's also sponsorship with branded links from the company's websites themselves um, that I've seen uh, which some companies will do if they don't have an affiliate program and if they are not offered on Amazon Associates they may just give you a direct link um, or they may give you a better deal because Amazon Associates their rate may be six percent per sale um, for you know commission versus a company may offer you 15% and I've seen it before I've been offered um, sort of promotions like that before as well uh, and then some people have coupon codes and the coupon code acts as an affiliate link upon purchase because the way it works is when you go to buy the product on that company's website and then you input their code it gets attributed back to the user um, and then you know, you get the discount code or whatever for 10% off, and then they get, um, you know, five, ten dollars or whatever the kickback is uh, for using their code. So if you see people plug their code all the time for, you know, save 10%, save 20%, save ten dollars off, it's to get a commission on the back end. So it's a win-win win for everybody, for the companies, for the people promoting the products, and for the people who get the products if it truly does help and enhance their life. Um, so yeah. That basically sums up YouTube. It's There's affiliate links and coupon codes all over YouTube today. Uh, it's definitely gotten a lot more saturated in terms of like the last couple years because when I started, um, the only people who were doing Amazon Associates links were tech reviewers and I always just kind of 
scratch my head thinking like, wow, if some of these bigger YouTubers who aren't doing reviews and tech and stuff just start putting links in their description, chances are they can make a healthy sum on the side by basically doing nothing. So it always blew my mind. Um, but yeah, that's just peeling back the kimono on YouTube. I'm sure many of you guys are already familiar. You guys have seen these links before. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how it works. So moving on to Instagram and Facebook. On Instagram, sponsorship via coupon codes is the most popular affiliate marketing method due to the lack of linking. Um, so this is changing right now though because if you guys have seen on Instagram stories, uh, the swipe up feature, that right there is definitely a game changer because it allows um, Instagram, well big Instagram um, users to link stuff directly rather than before, you know, you could only put a link in your bio and then people had to, you know, go through all that just to get to the link. You couldn't link um, in the description and I still don't think you can, at least it's not clickable. Um, so, you know, that's kind of the problem with Instagram is that linking is not as easy, but at the same time, um, you know, they're they're making changes to this. So this is gonna change in the future. So keep an eye on this because Instagram could be a very, very effective affiliate marketing uh, platform if used correctly. So anyways, on Instagram, it's mostly health supplements and fitness apparel, which are being promoted. Um, and it's, you know, the user receives a commission for each time their coupon code is used. So again, like YouTube, every time you see those coupon codes, every time you see, uh, use my code for 10% off, it's affiliate marketing. There is a commission to be had there if they make a sale. Um, Next, Facebook pages sometimes post affiliate links as well, which can be very effective if done correctly simply because of the sheer number of users on Facebook and the sheer number of people who see uh, popular Facebook posts. It's always in the millions, you know what I mean? So those videos that are going viral, it's always millions upon millions of views. I've seen anywhere from 2 million to 40 million on a single video. Uh, one example is I saw yesterday uh, this video that was the world's spiciest ramen noodles and they actually had a link right there in the description that was like you can get these noodles here and you bet you bet that that is an affiliate link and they're making money off that and it's really smart honestly it's pretty genius um, and that right there is a pretty good method if used correctly moving on so authority websites and review websites which is one of my personal favorites um, I'm a little biased because I own one recordingnow.com which is an authority website in home recording slash headphones um, but anyways, tech review websites like Wirecutter, uh, thewirecutter.com and The Verge at theverge.com are filled with affiliate links throughout the articles, throughout the reviews, um, and they're usually Amazon Associates, but again, um, like with sponsorships and direct uh, company links, um, if they're offered a better rate from, directly from the company themselves, then they'll use those links. But if not, Amazon Associates is a pretty um, easy catch-all because it has all the products for sale uh, on Amazon. So if you can't find it on a company's website, chances are it's on Amazon if it's a consumer electronic. Um, but yeah, so these websites, they get probably millions of visitors a month um, who are reading the reviews, reading you know all their articles, and they have links scattered all throughout those um, all throughout those articles. And usually at the end of the article, they have an option um, for buttons that say "Buy Now." Anytime you see those "Buy Now" buttons, affiliate link. Um, it's nice because it's kind of hidden, so you don't see that you're clicking a link. But really, like a button is just a link at the end of the day. Um, so that right there is a very effective method because people trust authority websites and brands more easily. And what I mean by this is that when you create a brand, you know, you got something like you have a logo, you have a website, you could still be one person behind the scenes, um, like me in recording now, but people, they see it as so much bigger than that. And if they see that you have plenty of reviews, you know, you've reviewed like um, dozens of headphones, then they're going to see, okay, this company they know what they're talking about I'm gonna listen to them I'm gonna buy from them because I trust them and trust at the end of the day is the most important thing in affiliate marketing because if they don't trust you they're not gonna buy if they don't buy you don't make any commission and it's as simple as that all right so moving on guys pay attention to this this is a very very important example in affiliate marketing and it's probably one of the original examples um, of making big money online using affiliate marketing. 
personal blogs. Okay, so I know some of you guys are probably thinking blogging. Like, isn't that what isn't that what stay-at-home moms do and, you know, to make recipes and share, you know, cookie recipes and stuff? No. Guys, listen to me. Personal blogs. There is huge money in having a personal blog. And the prime example is smartpassiveincome.com by Pat Flynn, which earns over $100,000 per month consistently for years through affiliate marketing primarily. Now, things have kind of changed. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little example of his website. He's got income reports that detail every single income and expense and breaks down each affiliate marketing source of income. Now, this is hugely important and this is a great asset for you guys because you guys can look at these income reports and see what percentage of his income is coming from what company and you guys can go out there and promote that company. So if you guys look through the income report, um, which I'll include right here. So let me just say it real quick. It's right here. Um, and I opened up an, an income report from when I started watching um, or I started following Smart Passive Income. And if you guys can see here, uh, income breakdown. So overall made $176,000 through gross income. And from affiliate earnings alone, 141881 and 36 cents. I mean, this is nuts, guys. This is crazy. I mean, over a hundred grand from affiliate marketing, from passive income, from people clicking links on a blog, which people, some people think blogging is dead. Some people don't even think about blogging. Uh, but I am a hundred percent about blogging, and it's one of the reasons which helped me or led me to getting into affiliate marketing. Um, so if you guys just look through here. Uh, you guys can see all these companies are all they're all web companies and they all offer either software or services for people who are looking to you know create websites um, and who run websites uh, so as you guys can see here um, the biggest source of income by far is Bluehost now Bluehost is a web hosting company and I happen to be very familiar with Bluehost because I promote them as well as an affiliate and um, smart passive income is one of the reasons that I got inspired to do this and as you guys can see here, $61,000 that month from Bluehost alone, from one company. And that made up a decent chunk, um, almost half of his entire affiliate earnings from one company. Um, so you guys can just see the breakdown here and you guys can kind of get an idea of what can you promote and what is the most profitable in terms of uh, you know, promoting um, these services and these companies so you can see also here you got convert kit which is an email marketing software uh, and then two of the other big income sources you're gonna see are courses so you see create awesome online courses and zero to launch course promoting courses is also a hugely hugely popular affiliate marketing um, product and a hugely popular affiliate marketing industry uh, because courses you know, you guys are taking a course right now, um, and courses usually have some of the best paying um, affiliate marketing sort of programs and structure. So, you know, these courses, um, I've I haven't looked into them, but they probably cost hundreds, if not a thousand dollars, to take, and the commission on those is probably um, at least a hundred, if not two hundred or three hundred bucks or something like that. Uh, if he's earning something like $38,000 in a month from promoting someone else's course. So again, um, check out these income reports. Go on smartpassiveincome.com. I'm telling you guys, this is a huge, huge asset for you guys to get inspired and to get ideas on what you guys can promote. Um, so let's go back into the slideshow. Um, and then let me show you guys one more example from personal blogs. So making sense of sense.com also earns over a hundred thousand dollars a month. Do you guys see a trend here? Wow. I mean, six figures a month. I mean, when I was getting started five figures a month, that was the dream. That was the goal. But these people are making six figures a month. And you know, a lot of people think six figures a year is cool, but you know, what's cool. Six figures a month making more than people's salary every single month. It's insane. But anyways, MakingSenseOfSense.com is a personal finance blog started by one person. I think her name is Michelle, and she gives tips on how to earn extra money online, how to save money, and how to pay off debt as a college graduate. So basically, just very sort of you know um, helpful, useful articles for people who are 
basically the same um, who are like in the same uh, demographic as her who is a college graduate you know a millennial who was in debt from student loans and then started making money online and now she shares that and through sharing that she's earning money through the affiliate earnings um, and again like smartpassiveincome.com she also shares her income reports although I don't know if she actually breaks down her affiliate earnings um, as as detailed as Pat but either way uh, check it out again um, it's inspiring it's uh, it gives you sort of like a map or you know guidance on what can you promote um, that's gonna be profitable and make money uh, lastly nerdwallet.com is a similar concept to you know personal finance blog but with a focus on credit cards and also nerdwallet is a legit company with hundreds of employees it's not a blog um, but it talks about the same sort of um, articles that uh, Michelle does on making sense of sense so you know um, it's about like personal finance and then just what are the best credit cards and then tips on you know using credit cards and building credit and stuff like that all right moving on to the last example now big companies use affiliate marketing and I'll show you guys right here in fact all of the big companies these days are getting on affiliate marketing and they're offering some sort of referral program um, because of how effective it is and how much it really works um, for most companies out there now the prime example is uber lyft postmates if you guys have used any of these apps they all have referrals and you know like refer a friend offers uh, usually it gives both parties credit to use in their app but real money can be made too, um, and I think before they used to actually, uh, they used to offer, like if you can refer someone to Lyft or something, you would get like 10 or 20 bucks. So I would see people, this was really smart on their part, I would see people make business cards um, that were Lyft and they had their promo code on it and they would hand them out on the side streets, you know, on the sidewalk at a corner, and they would be like, hey, free $20 with Lyft, and it's actually, affiliate marketing because they get a kickback every time someone uses their code now I don't know if you can still do that and I think there's a cap now I think you can only make like a thousand dollars from it but either way uh, this is just an example of a big company using affiliate marketing in the real world and then some smart people taking advantage of that uh, and then you know increasing their sales um, by promoting their code now this example um, should change a lot of your mindsets as to affiliate marketing as just being sort of like this you know so small like online source of income um, so some of the biggest companies today legit companies are tools slash software that make money through affiliate marketing so if you guys have heard of Expedia TripAdvisor Credit Karma that's all affiliate marketing now they disguise it as a tool so Expedia and TripAdvisor, you can search hotels, you can search, you can book and search hotels, um, you can even rent cars and um, and all sorts of other things. And the thing is, when you search and you book through these companies, they get a kickback, they get commission on every single hotel that's booked, every single car that's rented, and so on and so forth. Um, and these are some of the biggest companies today. Today, they have TV commercials, um, they have hundreds if not thousands of employees uh, so it's legit and you know they don't offer their own products um, because you know they don't they don't own the hotels or you know the cars or the flights or anything but they refer people to them using their tool um, lastly credit karma same idea um, credit karma if you guys are not familiar it's a tool that lets you see your credit score or it really is just um, an estimate of your credit score it's not accurate from what I have experienced um, but regardless people use it to just keep you know track of their credit see if there's any um, you know marks or anything uh, that's on the report that you know could be affecting their credit score and also just get tips on um, how to increase their credit score and also credit cards uh, they offer credit karma they promote all sorts of things from credit cards to auto loans to all sorts of things and that's all affiliate marketing every single thing they promote is not for free because um, no one would just you know give free traffic for no reason uh, they make commission off anything that you book or buy through credit karma um, and luckily you know they're in a very profitable niche because financial services and personal finance um, 
you know, that's money. We're talking money here. So if you uh, get an auto loan through um, one of Credit Karma's sponsors, um, then they're getting a kickback off of that. Uh, and it's probably, you know, it's probably some good money if they're, it's enough to have TV commercials today. So anyways, that wraps up my real world examples of successful affiliate marketing. I hope that this was a really eye-opening um, lesson for you guys. And so, you know, you need to choose your path and don't try to reinvent the wheel. So pick one of these paths or a couple of them if you want to. You can use them in conjunction with each other, such as a YouTube channel and an authority website, you know, linked to each other. Um, but choose your path and then just don't try to reinvent the wheel. Don't try to create the next Facebook, the next Apple, because really at the end of the day, we're just trying to make money here. Um, and if you want to pursue something big like that down the road, then you can do that after you set up your affiliate marketing business. Why? Because it's 100% passive income. And if you set it up correctly, um, you could be earning that income and then you can go do other things that you'd rather do. So, you know, again, don't try and reinvent, reinvent the wheel. We're going to get into how to get started in the next lesson. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. If you have any, you know, questions or comments, leave it below. Um, all right, let's move on to the next one.